Hey gang, Dave here getting any outdoors and it's pretty early in the morning. Uh, family's still sleeping so I'm going to keep this quiet. So I uh, had a question uh, from a couple people and one of the subscribers wants to know what we use as far as the tool for changing the ribs in a sports bell canoe. So what I did is I spent a couple of minutes at work. Uh, it took me about 15-20 minutes to make this tool and uh, I just made it out of scrap materials. Nothing special. Uh, I used uh, just some scrap aluminum that I found. I'm going to show you how it worked uh, and I did get my guy at work to rib an entire canoe with it to see if it would hold up. Make using aluminum as the base material held up, did the entire canoe. Uh, it had that little rattle before so that's not new. Uh, check it out. You got questions, concerns, comments, anything about the sports bell canoe that I could help you out with? Leave a comment uh, and I will uh, try my best. To, uh, answer your questions see if I can fix it up help you out help you fix it up get you back on the water hope this helps this was built with some scrap aluminum that I found at the shop um, it's just a chunk of aluminum tube and a chunk of aluminum bar just stuff we had kicking around you can do this with, with steel it doesn't have to be aluminum it doesn't it can be anything that's rigid enough I wouldn't try using wood as that might work for one or two ribs but this little tooth that you're going to put on it is going to break off. The overall tool length that I built was about um, six and five eighths inches. Uh, the handle portion alone would be five and a quarter inches. Something that's a little more important is the size of the hole. You're going to need at least five eighths of an inch across the tube part. The reason I have the tube part is that's going to slip down <coughs> over top of the rib and this is kind of tricky to explain and show at the same time but it right I'll get this thing here right down there at the basically level with the end of the pipe I did make a little shelf I'm gonna try and get this point that little shelf right there is to grab the rib while you're pushing it down into the canoe. This little hook on the back side of it is to catch on the gunnel so you can pop that down and you're going to hammer the rib this way. I just put a 3 16 rivet to stop the rib from going where's the camera here right there to stop that rib from going up in there too far and the distance that is down I just eyeballed it and it's about, meh, about a half inch or so down that pipe and that is only to stop the rib from going up inside. Little interesting thing was this section here has to be very smooth so you're going to take sandpaper and polish that pretty good or the rib will not slide as you're twisting it, or sorry, twisting it up under the gunnel when you go to tap your rib in so it snaps up under the gunnel it has to be smooth or it won't slide. <clears throat> I just did a little gob weld on the, that bar to the tubing. Uh, if you're not much into, you know, TIG welding and that like, uh, you could just put a little pin of some sort in there to hold it solid. Or I would probably just take a bunch of silicone and jam that right full let it harden and it would probably stay solid enough for you to complete the task you just don't want this moving back and forth the amount of pin sticking out the end i have about um, that tooth that isn't really that important you just want it wide enough that it's going to be you know strong enough to not snap while you're doing the ribs so I'm going to hold this still as I have had a gentleman ask for a couple of pictures of what I'm doing. I'm going to try and get this thing to focus on that a little better. Come on baby, focus. So I'm just going to turn the tool a little bit so you can see exactly what it is. So this goes under the gunnel so that the rib can slide along here after you mark it and cut it. Hopefully that helps guys. Thanks for watching. 